Welcome to Billings Farm at Home. I'm Tiana and this is Thursday Threads. Um, today we're going to look at a couple of different fibers. Fiber can mean a few things. It can mean dietary fiber, which our bodies need in order to function and we get from eating certain types of food. There's also um, fiber optics, which has to do with electricity and sending information and I don't really understand because I focus on this type of fiber. Um, Fiber can mean um, anything that becomes you know, cloth, so your clothes, your blankets, things like that. Um, and to, there are two different categories within natural fibers as opposed to man-made. So we're going to look at one of each of the natural fiber categories. So natural fibers can come from animals, um, which if when you give them a haircut, you can then use the hair or fur or wool to um, make into cloth or clothing. And animals, that's animals like alpacas and goats and even bunnies. Today we're going to be using wool from sheep. There's also plant-based fibers, which includes things like bamboo and linen, which comes from the flax plant. Today we're going to be looking at one you've definitely heard of, I'm sure, cotton, which comes from the cotton plant. So we're going to look at a couple of different properties. Um, and this first one, I am demonstrating it, so you don't need to try it at home. We need to be very safe with this, but we're gonna look at what happens if we light these on fire. So this is the cotton and we get it on fire. And can you see that that's burning? Right? And that's continuing to burn. It's a little bit windy today, so it is getting blown out. Um, cotton makes, um, candle wicks are made from cotton. It's a really good one. Now let's take a look at what happens There we go. If we do that, if we burn wool. All right, it's burning. That didn't get blown out by the wind. Let's try again. It sort of got singed a little bit, but stops burning as soon as the flame gets taken away. There's something in wool called lanolin. And lanolin is an oil that is actually really nice on your hands. It's in a bunch of lotions. And, um, and it, there's enough lanolin and oil in the wool that means that although, yes, the um, wool will burn when there's a flame, it stops. It self-extinguishes all on its own. So next we're going to look at water. So we're going to start with wool. This is a wool. Um, belt, and we're going to try pouring the water on it. See how it just rolled right off? Didn't really absorb. There's still a few water droplets on there, but not really much. If I shake it off, they sort of fall off. All right, let's see if it'll absorb the water that is in here. All right, water level staying the same. Water level staying the same. Wool is pretty fire is pretty water resistant. It's not waterproof because um, it will eventually absorb it, but it takes a long time. And wool can actually um, absorb 30% of its weight in moisture before it even starts to feel damp. Let's try the cotton. All right, so pour the water on, and can you see the dark spot? It absorbed right away. Let's see what it will do to the water in the pan that the wool wouldn't absorb. I don't know if you can see, but it is absorbing the water. It's taking it up, and it's already dry there. And look at that. It's dry. Cotton is much more absorbent. It's actually very absorbent. And it um, is wonderful for towels and washcloths just like this. And we'll soak it up and look at that. So that's a little bit about cotton and wool. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.